Hello guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. Real quickly, I want to say thank you to all the channel members, thank you, thank you, and I also want to take time to say thank you to anyone who comes in to check out my knife, my EDC content, I appreciate it. If you're so inclined and you haven't had a chance yet, if you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon, it'll really help me out. So today I have got a knife that I've been carrying for about the last 10 days. This is the Vosteed Ank Yilo, A-N-K-Y-L-O. Um, I picked this knife up at White Mountain Knives. I want to say it was about $158, and then I put my 10% Javon discount on there. It is the upgraded version. They've got two versions that I saw at White Mountain Knives. One with, I believe, 14C, um, and I forget what the scale material is. But these handles are um, aluminum, and the blade is LMAX. So I thought for under $170, that was a really good value. The knife is a little thicker and a little heavier, but that doesn't bother me. I think that's because of this locking mechanism, which is very unique. I guess you'd call it revolutionary. I've not taken it apart yet. That may be for another video, because I think it deserves to be taken apart. Because um, it uses what's called a Vancor lock, or that's their, their name for the lock. Um, cause it's a nut lock that they came up with. David Yu, uh, you might know Yu from Blade Show or half of, uh, Bosty Knives, one of the main designers. He did design this knife. It has got amazing action. It's got what I consider the pear shape, perfect deployment hole. It has got a wonderful low flipper tab that you can either light our push button or you can light switch it and you've got jimping on both places you've got a fully jimp blade and I can get a full forefinger inside grip here which I'll get you some dimensions shorter but I like to choke up on the blade I would hold it right here over the pivot I do not and have not come into contact with that pivot at all cutting. I've cut a lot of cardboard with this. I've cut some wood with this. I've been working on my woodland stick with this. And I've cut, like I say, a ton of cardboard. I've only had it for about 10 days. Um, but it's a great knife, guys. I really like it. I'd love to see it offered in the LMAX and maybe some other scale materials. You know, even if you did some carbon fiber or some titanium I don't have a problem with aluminum. I just think this platform has a lot of potential. For example, I like the mini acorn. I never try the full size acorn, but this is kind of a reverse Tontoe sheep's footy blade. Very nice girth to this knife. It feels like a tool. It is, and I don't do this usually, when I was reading about this Vancor lock, it sounds like it's a combination of the way that the pivot and the lock is geared, but it's actuated by the combination of a magnet and a plate, which to me made me think I've got to take it apart. I've got to find out what size skiffs it uses and probably just do a full breakdown, disassembly, reassembly, add some skiffs while we're in there. It is a flat ground blade. Again, of LMAX, and it's not a super thin knife. It's a work knife. I would say that was me hitting the choil. I would say it is an absolute bruiser of a knife that could get a lot more done than just cutting paper or cutting cardboard, which it does very well. Uh, as an EDC knife, I would almost venture to say it's all you would need for most EDC tasks, um, whether you're cutting sandwiches, whether you're processing livestock, whether you're cutting rope, whether you're, you know, whittling, whether you're shaving down to make some uh, feather sticking for a fire. I think this, uh, this ink yellow, or the Vosteed, we'll call it the pivot lock, um, 
is up for the challenge. Again, it is a beefy knife, and I think that's not as much because of just the aluminum and the LMAX. I think there's a lot going on in this lock. Reading about it and looking down in here, let's see if I can get some light on the situation. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I do have a feeling, and we won't do it tonight because it'll turn into a struggle bus, and y'all will just quit watching the video, and I'll be here for hours trying to figure out how to get this back together. But if you look in there, you've got the liners inside. You get milled out liners and steel liners inside, but you got a little spring. And I, I guess your magnet and your plate are up here. So what I'm gonna have to figure out is I bet See, this is a push button, so I bet this is not the pivot. That has not got any threading on it. So I'm betting you take these two T6s out. Let me see. Yeah, two T6s. You got T8s here, T6s here. But yeah, that's what we need to do, guys. We need to set up a time and uh, take it apart and see kind of how that lock works. I can tell you it works well from a practicality standpoint, i.e. from someone who uses it both as a back here. But typically, I'm in this choil, which when you see me in this choil, you see my fingers resting right over that button. I can push that button in, but I can't get it to push all the way through. You've got to push this down. I mean down so i've got to push it down watch how far i have to push it in before it breaks i've got to push it all the way under here so watch when it pops back out all right so that's my button so i would have to be pushing with the side of my finger to right there for it to break and the other part of that is if i've got my finger in the choil and i push it i'm not going to feel it break but i'd have to be pushing on it really hard Multiple deployments. You got a front flipper that works very well. You got the rear flipper, which is great. And then my favorite, the pair. And of course, you can thumb flick it because it is a, a anchor lock. Deep carry, steel clip. And let's get a few quick size comparisons. Then we'll get a weight because I think it is going to be heavy for its size. We'll get some dimensions too. That's the baby banter. Much bigger than the baby banter. Hence, it'll be much smaller than the cold steel 4 Max. All right, now let's look at it next to our Benchmade bug out. It's going to be a little bit bigger than the Benchmade bug out, but not by much. Maybe a half of an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. Paramilitary 2, it's going to be about the same distance smaller than the Paramilitary 2. So now, let's get our linear measuring device, i.e. our tape measure, and find out what the fuck it is. What it weighs, how thick it is. I can tell you, I, it's been a while since I've had a Vostede. I think the last one that I had that I really liked was a Dachshund, and it was a bar lock, but I really like this. I really want to try one of their top locks. I, lo I love the PSYOP. This is right at seven and three quarter overall. It has got a three and a quarter inch blade, exactly a three inch cutting area, a handle of four and a quarter from here to here, a grip to the inside, three and a half from here to here. And if you're going to use that finger choil like me, you've got right at or right under five inches from here to back here. So I think it'll probably fit a lot of hands very comfortably. Um, it's very fidgety. 
it's very slicey and again it's heavy so we had a three and a quarter inch blade and when i say heavy i'm not saying that as a negative i'm saying that as it feels like a tool that could be put through some tests so 4.8 ounces and you've got a three and a quarter inch blade so it's going to be heavier than an ounce per inch but again for me I don't carry necessarily the big beefy knives that none of them meet those ratios. Some of the ones that cool dudes like Satu and Scotch and things carry. I carry a few bigger knives, but mostly this is my jam and this feels like a hard use knife for me. I really like it. I'm really proud of you and what he's done with this knife and with Vostita as a brand and the designs he's contributed. But picked it up at white mountain knives i will leave their link white mountain knives in the description it's not an affiliate link but i do have a discount code there so if you use javon 10 on anything at white mountain knives with exception to jack wolf's and a few others uh you will save 10 percent. guys thank you for watching my knife video my adc content thank you if you are so inclined for subscribing if not thank you for watching do me a favor, please, and look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for that guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.